Hi, if you don't know me already, I am Ishbel and I usually make videos all about traveling and vlogs, diary style videos. So grab your drink of choice and let's chat. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some effective tips and things that I did when moving abroad to build a lovely community and meet new people. So let's go. So tip number one is to join or download apps. There are two apps that I would recommend and the first one is Bumble BFF. If you're like me, I thought that Bumble was only a dating app, but you can switch it in your profile to um, meet friends. And it's a really easy way. You can add things that you are interested in. For example, if you like doing yoga, you can add your hobbies there. And then Bumble tries to match you just like it would match, find you a romantic partner. Um, they find you friends who you can swipe through and I've definitely met loads of people using Bumble BFF so I would highly recommend that and it's also completely free. They do have a pro version and I will link that down below in the show notes if you would like to check it out. Here's how it works. First create a profile and then add some photos. Write a little bit about yourself and add what you're interested in and then you can start swiping. When you match with someone, you can start chatting and plan to meet for a coffee, hike, or any activity that you both enjoy. The second app that I would recommend that you download is called Trip BFF. It's generally better for meeting bigger groups of people or planning a special excursion or a trip away together. Whereas Bumble BFF is, I would say in my opinion, better if you would like to meet one-on-one -on -one with someone. On Trip BFF, you can join or create trips, find travel buddies and even see what activities others are planning. It's perfect for solo travelers who want to make their trip more social. The second tip is to join a group called Host a Sister on Facebook. They do also have an Instagram account, which I will link everything in the show notes. So how it works is people post their where, when, what and who, and you can simply type into the search bar your destination to find travelers looking to meet people there. It's a great platform to make genuine connections and stay with locals who can show you around. It's a global community where you can meet people, you can find accommodation and you can even host a sister yourself. So tip number three is to join a local language course. I would really recommend this. Even if you're not looking to meet people, it's a great way because you have a shared goal in common and that is to learn the local language. You have someone who you can practice with who is maybe about a similar a similar level for you so it's less embarrassing and there's also like included in the classes lots of icebreaker. You know it's embarrassing when you get something wrong or you're unsure of something any new skill sometimes it can make you feel a little bit shy and it's just a great way to meet loads of people from all over the world and come together to learn a skill. The best way to meet people of course is in person however if that is not suitable for you there are loads of options to learn languages online. My favourite would be Babbel. Their platform makes it super fun and exciting with personalized lessons, interactive games and real life conversations. I love the relaxed pace and how interactive the learning was. So whether you are gearing up for a trip, boosting your career or just looking to impress your friends, Babbel is your ticket to fluency. I used it to learn German and now I've moved up one level from A1 to A2. So if you're interested, check out the link below. Next is joining classes or activities. 
So search for any hobbies that you have in the area you're in. Common ones are running clubs, yoga, dancing, hiking clubs. Check out local community boards, social media and event websites to find activities that are happening around your area. Also, taking part in something that you love makes it easier to connect with others who share your passion, so it is a great way to make friendships. Tip number five is to stay in social accommodations like hostels, homestays, our guest houses. They are great ways to meet other travellers and locals and they are often cheaper. Hostel World is an amazing app and website for arranging social accommodation. It's one that I've used so many times. Um, most hostels have communal spaces such as lounges, kitchens and game rooms where guests can relax and socialise and these areas are perfect for striking up a conversation and meeting new people. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and let me know what are your tips for meeting new people abroad and subscribe to my channel. It would really help me and it's very appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and happy travels. Hi! Blech.